Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Dev Town. So as in the previous video, guys, I have told you about the Excel workbook structure, and I have told you about the worksheet, how it works, and I have told you also the some of the shortcuts of the Excel. So now, guys, in this today's video, we will learn about how to save an Excel document and how we can use it. So, guys, trust me, this video would be very much interesting. And if you have still now not subscribed to our channel, just hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so you could not like miss any video from the Tef Town. So now what would we doing guys? So we have a data here. Okay, let me enlarge the screen. Okay, so we have data in the two format comma separated and in the Excel file. So let us open first this open with Excel. Yeah, perfect. It will take a few seconds. Now see guys, now we have here the employee sample data. Okay, so and guys, this data is very big. See, it is ha having how much rows? Let me see. It is having 1001 rows. Guys, that's why we use the Excel and the data science. Okay, because you can see guys, you can you cannot do with the human brain this thing it would be very much time consuming and there would be a like many chance of the error okay so guys the task is very simple today so we have just go to the file and here guys you will see two options the save and save as okay so you don't have to do hurry you don't have to press on the save you have to press on the save as okay because we want the space we have a desktop for that file okay so now what I'm trying to say, if we use save as, so it will save this file in this Excel only. Okay, the changes would be saved, but the file location and the data would be not saved on the location you want. Okay, so you have to come to this file, you have to use save as. Okay, so now guys, there is many option. If you have a OneDrive account, okay, so you can definitely save it on the one drive and if you have like you can save definitely in this pc so there are two options browse and this pc so these basically both are same if i double click on this this pc so see i am getting the same thing which i was getting okay while clicking the browse see see guys okay now, if I want to save data on my desktop, how I will do that? File name, I will change the file name from here. Dev down Excel. Okay, now if I save it, yeah, it would be saved. See, now on my desktop, I can definitely see this Dev down Excel. Now, if I open this with an Excel, it will open the same file which would be, we have saved. See, okay, I hope guys that you have understood that thing, how we can save in the Excel file. Okay, and now we have data in this Excel, let it open in the Excel. See, now in this like data mode, we are getting more information, okay. And here are the more options. The rows and the columns, the both are the same. Okay, the difference is that guys, that document was in the CSV comma separated and this is the XLS file. Okay, and the procedure is guys always same. Okay, you just have to go to the file. You have to go to the save. Okay, saving is disabled in the protected view. If you trust the source, we will saving perfect save as okay if i use browse this time let me save it on the desktop drop down excel 2 okay 
so let us see our file where it is being saved okay dev 10 to file location okay it is saved here no issue now we open with excel it will open okay so guys i have told you all the basic thing how you can create how you can save and how you can save the changes in your excel file okay now suppose guys i want to change the format of the data okay as this data is in the excel so how i can do that so it is a very simple thing let me show you and one more thing before that suppose i want to change the position of the cell how i can do that see if i shift this cell the upper side it will move here yeah see okay and now what i was saying i was saying that if you want to change the format of the data so how you can do that you have to come here save as this pc perfect you have to save in, in the desktop okay you have to change the format of the data from here okay so it was excel workbook if i want to change it in the pdf form i can definitely change it okay and here are optimized for the options standard publishing online open file publishing there are many options you can like set the quality of the file okay perfect it will take some time to save perfect see guys now how beautiful our data is looking okay see we have changed the data in the pdf form from the excel format and it is having all information everything is there guys see this is the beauty of excel you can also print it okay you can def you can directly print it from the excel see there is no data loss everything is present in this data see guys how beautiful it is microsoft is microsoft guys after all <laughs> okay what i was telling you how you can print it okay so for printing this the guys method is very simple you have to go here you have to go on the print and from here you can like set from which you want the print okay and you can also change the orientation from like this data looks good in the landscape okay and uh, if i change it to the a4 how it looks like let me see yeah perfect i think in this format this data would be perfect and margins could be also set from the here perfect okay so note scaling print sheets of their actual size you can also do that no 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 not okay and you for then you have to just simply print this button and the sheet will be printed okay and there is one other shortcut you have to just simply press ctrl plus p on your keyboard okay as i have told you this is the shortcut see after pressing the ctrl plus p it will directly redirect you to this print panel and here you can easily print your sheet okay and apart from it that there are many templates you can also print them okay suppose now if you want to like print this bill so how you would do print see this is how the bill it's like looking so original and so nice perfect you can also change it from the here yeah in the portrait landscape it looking good perfect you can also change the letter 
guys there are diff huge number of things okay and the executive you can also change see how good it is looking and for printing you just just have to simply press this print button and it will be printed i hope guys that you like this video and guys please subscribe to our channel devtown i will get back soon with an another amazing video